A very happy Christmas and happy holidays to all of you out there. I won't be recording music uh, in this my series anymore because the last two videos that I made, I got flagged by YouTube. So it doesn't make sense to put in a lot of effort to make these videos. And then once you put it on YouTube, you get flagged for using copyrighted material. So for the remainder of the series, I will just stick to talking about the musicians or the composers and their music. But playing actual music, I won't do that anymore. Uh, I will always leave um, below these videos or in subsequent videos, I'll always leave a link to the material, to the music. So if you're keen to listen to the music, you can always click on the material uh, or the link and then you go and listen to the music. So today I'd like to talk to you guys about a very prominent composer called Stockhausen. Karlheim Stockhausen was born in 1928 and he died in 2007. He was born in Germany. And from reading about Stockhausen's life, I realized that Stockhausen was able to be the composer he was because of the place in which he was born. He was born in Germany. And as we all know, Germany is a very technologically advanced nation. So Stockhausen used technology as a medium of his compositions. And if you check in Wikipedia or any other sources about Stockhausen, there's this reference to Stockhausen use of electronic. So he is the first uh, composer to, to explore that medium. And Stockhausen influenced so many other uh, electronic musicians that came after him. Instead of focusing on Stockhausen's uh, compositions and works, I thought that I would share just a little bit about composition and then focus more about his thought process and the things that influenced Stockhausen. Stockhausen is renowned for using helicopter as a medium of composition. In one of his compositions, he used an helicopter and musical instrument that he blended together to create a very new sound. You know, Stockhausen is always stretching uh, the limit of his compositional abilities. I was listening recently to one of Stockhausen's compositions called Kesang de Jungelinger, something like that. I'm not sure if the pronunciation is correct. But anyways, in this composition, um, Stockhausen uses voices, and the voices sounded more like a broken record. In those days of the Walkman, you know, once the battery of the walk Walkman is no longer strong or is dying or is weak, you hear a kind of a, a weak signal in the, in, the, in the music you're listening to. So when I was listening to it, my wife came in and he said, she said to me, is this supposed to be music? Why is it sounding like this? So I, I thought about it. I said, yes, this is exactly what Stockhausen wanted to achieve. You know, for people to listen to his music and wonder what is happening. Why is this music? Why is this even played? Why is this even composed? Why is this even shared with people? Because our ideas of music sometimes is skewed. We always think about pop music once people talk about music. But in Stockhausen, Stockhausen is trying to stretch the limit of what we hear and what we think about music. Stockhausen was a revolutionary thinker. I have even proposed at a certain moment in my life to invent sound swallowers so that one could make certain sections in a city silent. There would be microphones everywhere with a computer. One produces the counter wave of the sounds which are produced and then even if you speak, one cannot hear anything. And there will be only areas in a city where you can talk or scream, whatever you like. But in most of the parts, there will be no sound because there will be sound swallowers everywhere. So Stockhausen is this kind of a composer who wanted to create not only unique compositions, but also compositions that reflect a certain kind of mindset, a certain kind of cityscape, I should put it that way. So Stockhausen is a free thinker, a free composer, a composer without limits. Another thing that influences Stockhausen's and thinking process is the idea to counteract nature. Stockhausen is a revolutionary thinker, somebody who always thinks about creating music that is not bounded by 
by regions or, or reflect nature. He wanted something that is extraterrestrial, if I should put it that way, something that is unique. According to Stockhausen, what is more interesting is to find processes which are not imitating processes of nature. Let's take statistical behavior of elements in a social group or leaves in a tree or atoms in a given piece of metal or atomic um components of atoms. We find this everywhere. And it is interesting at the beginning, but in the long run, one wants to create individual works which give us an insight into the possibilities to combine elements which have never heard before and never experienced before. This is much more important rather than thinking of making something that is like other phenomena in nature. 